wanted to put together this quick video to explain some of the steps that are involved with upscaling, converting VHS tapes, and so on. Um, you need to have some devices, obviously. Right now, we've got our VHS player. We have a box that converts the anal well the analog to a digital signal, and then you have to have something that will actually you know process your signal. Um, you got it in this case. I just have a laptop that I use for it. Um, so what I do is I will. Uh, and this there's no there's no shortcuts on this. You rip the VHS to the the laptop. So you now have a digital version of the VHS tape. So that's the first step. The next step is where you really probably want to have a good hardware investment. Um, I have a rather beefy computer, if you will. Um, it's got a uh, um, 3070 Ti video card in it. Um, I was using a GTX 1080 and performance was okay, but I needed something a little bit more current and video card prices are finally starting to drop. This is uh, that time in, in late April of 2022 when this is going on. But anyway, so what I do is after I've copied it, I then go to essentially what's become my video editing machine and um, run it through several processes using different softwares. And here you can see one of them is running now. Um, but, but what you do is you take that video and now we wanna, you know, let's say we wanna edit it. So I use a tool called Filmora and Filmora to actually edit the content. And, um, and, and what I'm doing there is just kind of snipping off the, the beginning and the end of the video Anything that's not clean, not fluffy, you know what I mean? Uh, it's really, what do you want to have? Just, just the, you know, the meat and potatoes of the video, if you will. The next step is you convert it to a VOB file. Um, I use uh, UniConverter to do that. Once it's in a VOB file, I use DG Index to create an index file. That index file is then loaded into Stacksrip, and I have a script that I run against it and the script will do denoising and all kinds of fun stuff with the video that essentially cleans up the quality of that raw video and you know as you can see here it's running but it's it, it's like a six hour process for a two hour video so you know power is expensive right now um that's why this is you know upscaling something comes at a premium uh, then the next step is putting it into something that will upscale the actual video now that it's been cleaned up. And I use uh, a, an AI tool called Topaz Video Enhance AI. Um, it, you, it, there's kind of an art to it where you have to load stuff in and you check samples and all kinds of stuff. And uh, you know, once you find one that looks good, um, you gotta be careful it doesn't look too artificial, too plasticky. Um, once you find one that looks good, that takes a, a while to process. So once that's finished, I do put it back into Filmora and then I run an auto enhance on it, which really finishes cleaning up the video. And that's the final product that's output. So it, it, it's a lot of work that's involved in it. Um, you can, of course, if your client says, Hey, I just, I just want you to rip the thing. You can do that easily. Um, you know, you, you put it into Filmora after you've got the raw content, you put it into Filmora, clean it up a tiny bit, uh, you know, cut the, the beginning and the tail off so it's a, a clean edit, and then you move on from there. Um, you, you provide it to the client however they want. But, but essentially, yeah, uh, upscaling is a rather involved process. So I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions about it, feel free to uh, give me a shout out. Take care and have a great day.